Welcome to our lecture online. When we see a fractional exponent, what does it really mean? Well, it's best to start with this definition right here. When we have a fractional exponent or a rational exponent that looks like 1 over a number, let n represent an integer number. So when we have something that looks like a to the 1 over n, that really means the same thing as the nth root of a. So for example, if we have a to the 1 half, that's the same as the square root of a. a to the 1 third is the cube root of a, a to the 1 fourth is the fourth root of a, a to the 1 fifth is the fifth root of a, and so forth, and I'm sure you can see the pattern there. But what about the number in the numerator? For example, if we have a to the m over n, well m can be written like this. We have a to the 1 over n raised to the m power. Remember, when we have a number that has an exponent and it's raised to an exponent, we can then multiply the exponent. So m times 1 over n gives us m over n. So we can go this way or this way, and that's what that means. And so therefore, if we take what's inside the parentheses, which we have over here, that means the nth root of a raised to the m power, and then it turns out we can also write that inside the radical as a to the m. And so essentially, a to the m over n can be written as the nth root of a to the m. And we'll see an example of that in just a moment. So the way to look at that is that the number in the numerator acts like the exponent and the number in the denominator acts like the root of the number a. So now we have the example 4 to the 3 halves, which can be written as 4 to the 1 half raised to the third power. Again, when you multiply these two together, you get 3 halves back. And then you can write it either like this, where we say we have the, the uh, 4 to the 1 half power means the square root of 4, and then the whole thing is raised to the third power, so simply write this like this, based on this rule right here. And then you can see that the square root of 4 is 2, 2 raised to the third power is equal to 8. Or, we can do what we did over there, we can take the exponent 3 and move it inside the radical, 4 to the third power equals 64, and the square root of 4 to the third power equals the square root of 64, and the square root of 4 is equal to 8. We should get the same result no matter how we get to the final result, and that's always the case when we're dealing with exponents, and no different for rational exponents. So now that we know what rational exponents are, we'll do some examples of how to manipulate rational exponents.